we've decided that your first official NXT match is going to be Finn Balor and Hideo Itami versus Baron Corbin and you. To get you prepared for that match, we're putting you up against the Vaude Villains. Show me you deserve to be in that match.
Hey, wait a second. Next week is your first match on NXT. With all the lights and craziness that happens on that day, don't forget to go out there and have some fun. We all do this because we love this business. And I can tell that's what you bring to the table too. You're going to do some big things in the WWE, kid. Just don't let all this go to your head. scene has been on fire of late here at WWE and I think we're about to see another
referee will undoubtedly have his hands full when these two teams collide. It doesn't get much more exciting than these teams set to square off here tonight. scene has been on fire of late here in WWE and I think we're about to see another hot one I'd say this team looks like they have what it takes to walk away victorious tonight You don't necessarily have to like them, but if you're not on the same page, you're probably going to lose. Oh, did you see the force behind that? There's no quit in these guys, but unfortunately only one of them can be victorious here tonight. As we watch Finn Balor, let's get your take on it. Here's the thing. This match, of course, isn't for the championship, but the champ can't afford to look past this one. If he does, he could lose momentum or even worse, get an injury. Oh, big DDT. That could be it. Destruction no one was expecting. I certainly didn't expect to see this kind of damage. There might be no getting up from that DDT. Where did this explosion of offense come from? Hey guys, I ran into Hideo Itami in the back earlier today, and it's amazing how far his English has come since the last time I saw him. Oh man, does he have that arm submission in tight? Oh, he's got to do whatever he can here to try to break this hold. He 
His nose might end up where his ear is by the time this one's over. I gotta tell you, these guys are in the best shape I've ever seen them in. He's looking to create some separation here. Ken, you know, you mentioned that Tommy's learning English. Make no mistake about it, this kid is working overtime in an attempt to fully immerse himself in our culture. He's definitely committed. You are right again, Michael. When he's not hard at work learning our language, he's at the WWE Performance Center working on his game for hours on end. Hideo and Tommy will not be denied his shot at greatness. From what we've seen and heard tonight, there must be serious injuries. No kidding, this is going to need some serious medical attention. He's having a seriously Dude. hard time getting back to his feet after that. He's too good inside the ring to be out on the floor for long. I don't agree with you, King. My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. Man, I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it. He goes to the and it's up. He got the shoulder up. These guys giving this sold-out crowd exactly what they came to see. What an incredible match! And there's the tag. Oh, God, that was hitting the nail right on the head. If he takes many more of those, he's going to get lit up like a Christmas tree. We're in the feeling out process. Who's going to get the advantage and maintain control? Your guess is as good as mine, Cole. That stop might have only lasted a second, but it's going to be felt tomorrow. That may be felt for a lifetime. Oh, once Two. you get out of the ring, anything can happen. You've got exposed steel, concrete, the barricades, Three. and all of it can be used to cause massive damage. Finn Balor's coup de grace is quickly becoming one of my favorite signature moves in all of WWE. Four. It's so simple, yet so effective. Five. And he touches that one. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Nothing good is going to happen out here on the floor. Seven. You have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. Yeah, you really have to enjoy hurting someone. Two. I'm not sure I can watch this. Three. We're looking at complete domination here. Uh-oh. Sir Isaac Newton's universal law of gravity was just tested with that move. I just channeled JBL. Yeah, and I've got Isaac Newton's autograph. King, I don't think Finn Balor's opponent Six. share the same appreciation for the coup de grace that you have. It what? What? It has to be terrifying to look Seven. up and see Balor flying through the air, about to come down on your chest. Yeah, you're right. And he doesn't Eight. just come down on your chest. He really drives those feet in. Almost like he's trying to cave the chest Nine. in. And he brings the action back inside. I never saw this coming. Welcome back to the show. This is my guest tonight. Let's talk about what happened out there tonight. You just finished your first match in an NXT arena. So how did it feel? This is only the beginning. This is my era in NXT. I'm going on a demolition course straight for that NXT title. I feel sorry for anyone who stands in my way. My era of destruction starts right now. There you have it. Back to you guys.